Uh, one of the most striking findings of world historical reflection, a number of historians basically say it was because the West was individualist that it became a dominant civilization. Because so many people everywhere in the society were involved in optimizing things, improving things, getting ahead, making money, and so on and so on. So Europe has a dynamic, constantly changing quality, which isn't found in other cultures. Because for them, people don't initiate things. They wait for direction from above. In the West, you go ahead and you change and improve things without waiting. And that temperament appears to be the major reason why Europe became unusually rich and then unusually powerful and ended up running the world. And after then, the British. And after then, the Americans. And that, that pretty much is how they got to be dominant. Now, recently, however, Asia has found a way to become much more wealthy and powerful by relying on a more collective culture. In their society, you don't have the same dynamism but you do have deference to authority. And so in Asia, what you find is the leadership has been able to mobilize those societies to become more rich and more powerful. 